Okay guys, so in my previous two videos I talked about my sorceress build and I talked about where you should magic find in order to use the sorcerers effectively and I've had some questions people have been asking like okay well you told me what your build is what your favorite gear is but what about how do you get to this stage and I thought that was a really good question so I'm actually going to go over what gear you can use in place of everything here and of course on your merc as well because merc on a blizzard orc is very important so since the merc is the easiest I'm going to start with him I'm going to rank everything basically from best in slot and then back from there. So the easiest things to get are going to be the last and the things that you're going to be trying to get are going to be what I say first. For instance, my mercenary here, I mean Breath of the Dying, you're probably not going to get a Zod rune early on. So you're going to need something a little bit easier to, uh, to obtain. That's where you go to an obedience. Obedience is very cheap. It, the highest runes it needs are a Ko and a Foul rune. Pretty easy. The base item is probably going to give you the most trouble. So definitely go with Obedience. Can't find either of these two. Drop down to an Insight and you should be good to go. If you can't find a base item for an Insight, then, you know, an Ogre Axe, a Bone Hue, that'll work in its place or something like that. But basically an Insight up to Obedience, Breath of the Dying, should be good to go. Chest piece, obviously I love the fortitude, it's one of the best items, especially with the uh, the damage and defense that you get on it, can't go wrong with fortitude, although it's pretty expensive because the low rune, so treachery is good in its place, especially when you get that fade to proc, that's really good, stone, little expensive but has high defense which is nice, can't do that, go with a smoke, Smoke is what? Nephilim? Pretty simple. Uh, can't get that. Well, Gladiator's Bane, if you get lucky and get an Ethereal, that's not too bad. Durial Shell. Durial Shell is pretty common. I'm pretty sure you can get those in Nightmare, so shouldn't be too tough to find one of those. And still nothing, maybe a Guardian Angel. The nice thing about Guardian Angel, it has the plus to maximum res on all four, so you can actually get your mercs resistances to be quite a bit higher now if you're using a guardian angel you might not be in hell yet so he's going to be at 90 no matter what basically doesn't really matter his gear nice thing about obedience it has res on it you can see why that's nice okay the helmet i'm not using it but andariel's visage if you get an eth one that's very nice to have here i personally think it's best in slot however a vampire gaze does quite well as well now it has uh, eight percent life stolen per hit on this one here and then it also has damage reduction now the damage reduction can go to 20 percent, and you can tell why that on a on a mercenary is good because he's going to be taking most of the hits and now you might think okay well hold on eight percent life stolen per hit is that really enough yeah it is um You've got your fortitude here that buffs your damage. You got your breath of the dying here, which does fat damage. When you go out and you actually buff yourself, your merc's gonna be doing quite a bit of damage, like almost 8k damage already. Whew. Don't even worry. It'll be fine. You can't find an Andy's Visage or a Vampire Gaze. Tal's mask. It's got life steal or life steal. It's got resistance. It's really easy to get. It is definitely the type of mask you're looking for. Can't find that. Maybe a rock stopper is a decent helm as well. But I mean, you should be able to find Tal's mask relatively simple. If you don't have that, you're going to struggle because your mercenary needs lifesteal in order to be effective. If you can't heal himself, you're going to be in trouble. Now, mercenary out of the way. Pretty easy. Focus on the sorceress. She has a lot of options, quite a few actually. So start with the gloves, they're pretty easy. Now I am of course using Tri-Res Magic Find Gloves. You're probably not gonna find a pair of rare gloves like this very quickly, so you know if you can't find this, try to go for maybe a pair of Mage Fists if you need the FCR. With my build right here, I don't need the FCR because I've got FCR rings. For this build, that is crucial. Okay, now if you want to mix up the build, you can. You can switch out 
these gloves, throw on some mage fists. You can get rid of your rings and maybe throw on some nagel rings or whatever. But for my build, I personally prefer this because look at all the resistances I have. I've got almost 30 for cold and fire. I've got tri res here. I got more res here. If you put nagel rings on a mage fist, you lose all that res. That's a problem. Res is important, especially in hell. Normal nightmare, not so much. You get to hell, res is important. Now I keep saying you need FCR. Why do you need FCR? Well, there are certain breakpoints you got to get to in this game. So for the sorceress, the blizzard sork, 63 FCR is one breakpoint, and then 105 is the next breakpoint. And you know you're going to want to have 105 because it lets you teleport through things very very quickly you're not going to get hit by things when you're teleporting to the boss and if you can just bypass everything you don't have to worry about your damn like your defense you're going to survive you're going to be good to go so 105 fcr that's what this build is all about and you'll be fine so gloves rare gloves good mage fists you know if you don't don't have a good pair of this or you don't have fcr rings yet mage fist can go here for that 20 percent can't find mage fist go with trangs trangs gloves set item but it uh, has 20 percent fcr on it and like i said fcr is important it also has a little bit of cold res on it too so can't go wrong there can't find rare gloves can't find those go down to frost burns you're probably going to have a little bit of issues with mana early on get yourself a nice pair of frost burns and your mana issues will not, uh, they won't be as bad. They won't be as big of a deal. That's your gloves right there. War Trav's on the boots. That is my preferred piece. It gives you strength and vitality. Granted, mine rolled poorly. And then you've got Magic Find. Your Sork is a Magic Find. You're going to want the Magic Find. But, you know, you don't want. if you don't have War Trav's yet, you can go for a couple other options sandstorm treks they're really good they got fast hit recovery you pair that with your uh, spirit here 55 from this you get 20 from the treks you're looking pretty good getting that uh, what is it 90 breakpoint it's not too tough other than that rare boots you're gonna find a ton of them just look for something with faster run walk maybe fast hit recovery anything with res anything with magic find they'll work the boots are very uh interchangeable for the blizzard sork especially this one here you don't need anything specifically so you can pop these off you can throw on some tracks or or something like that even silk weaves if you wanted you could throw them in it's up to you next i'm going to talk about the shield this one's tough this build requires you to have a 35 spirit basically so i mean if you get rid of this spirit, you're going to need to swap out your gloves for some extra 20%, you know. But we can't quite get that monarch base because, you know, finding Talthal Lord and that's pretty simple. But if you can't find the monarch base with four open sockets, you know, another option is Lidless Wall. Uh, I can't find that. Wall of the Eyeless, not bad. They both have FCR on them. Lidless has plus to skills. You're still having troubles. Ancient's Pledge is a really good rune word. Pretty cheap. Three open socket shield. It's got a lot of resistance on it. So it's decent in that spot. And the other thing I'm going to say is a rhyme shield. Two open socket rhyme shield. That's good to have on your swap. And the reason I say it's good to have on your swap is because when you're starting out, you're probably going to be really dependent on having gear that doesn't have magic find yet, but it does have resistances. And so if you can have rhyme on your swap, when you're using the moat trick to kill Mephisto, you can buff that magic find by 25 extra points. And that's not including your weapon. That's really good to have. Maybe you can get a cheeky little gull dagger for an extra 100 magic find on your offhand as well. All of a sudden, your magic find gets buffed by 125. That's really good, especially because it's on two pieces of gear, and it's not your damage gear, it's not your teleport gear, it's just your finish off the boss gear. It's really good to have. Really good to have. Now, for my build, of course, rings, FCR, have to be FCR, okay? That's all I got to say. 
you can't find FCR rings, keep looking. Look for blues, okay? Getting a ring of the apprentice, 10% FCR, is actually pretty simple to do. When I started out ladder, I was actually rocking a 10% FCR all res, what, 11? And then a 10% all res 9 or something when I started out. It got me to here, so it, it works. You just got to get FCR rings as fast as possible. Moving on over to the chest piece here. Skull Desire. If you can get Ethereal, perfect. Repairs durability in 6 seconds, 5 seconds. This thing's never going to break. Okay, Skull Desire, in my opinion, best in slot. Gives you that plus to skills, decent defense. Look at that magic find. Can't go wrong. Don't have this. Maybe you got a Tal's chest. Hopefully. Tal's chest is pretty good, but again... The problem with Tal's chest is you kind of need to have that three-piece Tal's in order to make it work. So the chest piece, the belt, the amulet, okay? If you don't have the three-piece, the Tal's chest, yeah, it gives you a lot of resistance. That's good, but it doesn't give you magic fine, so it's kind of a trade-off. You'll be able to survive a little more with Tal's chest, which is great, but, you know, you, you lose out on a potential 120 magic fine, granted. I'm what, level 96? So it might not be 120 magic fine when you're doing this. Moving on, maybe you find a good Ormus robe. They give you damage, they give you a skill. If you get lucky, you can get like a blizzard or a lightning or something good. If you get unlucky, you can get enchant or teleport. Not ideal, but it could work. Other than that, other than that Viper Magi. This is a good, this is a good item. It's got all res on it, up to 35. You can up it to get that base to defense a little bit higher. Very good item right here. Of course, it's got the FCR on it as well. Can't go wrong there. And if you don't have that, go all the way back down to your roots. Get a stealth. Taleth. Pretty simple to make. Now, I notice a lot of people when they're making their sorceress, they know about stealth, and they get a stealth in you know, a quilted armor or a leather armor with, what, 15 defense? That's not good enough. Not in hell. If you're walking around in the uh, ancient tunnels or something and you end up seeing an archon plate on the ground or a dust shroud or something like that, heck, even a mage plate or a ghost armor, just take a look. If it has two sockets, it's useless to you regardless. Throw a Tal Eth in there. You make yourself a stealth. You got that fast hit recovery, that faster... Uh, cast rate it's really good and it gets your base defense a little bit higher it might just save you who knows moving on now to the belt of course arachnid's mesh it's got one to skill it's got 20 percent fcr what more could you ask for you can't find arachnids because spiderweb sash is kind of difficult to get i can recommend you know maybe a snow clash if you want that extra damage on your blizzard it's kind of a risky build but you know, killing things quicker does mean you can magic find better. So maybe that'll work. You just need to find FCR somewhere else. Maybe you swap out your gloves for Mage Fists or Tranks. 20%. Other than that, Tal's Belt. Got pretty good stats. It's got magic find. If you have the chest piece and the belt, they get a 10%, I believe. Faster cast rate right there. If you don't have the amulet, you know, you still get... The two-piece set bonus, you're not going to get the three. But hopefully, hopefully you can get an arachnids pretty quickly. Moving on to the amulet. Of course, I'm using Amara's. Two to skills, few attributes, all res. This build kind of needs this all res in order to get yourself up to that 75 all res point. You don't have to be at full max res if you uh, position your sorceress correctly in the chaos sanctuary however mistakes happen sometimes you get souls in the world stone you can't really predict it having that max res really good idea can't get amaras i understand they're tough Tal's amulet again three piece towels tons of magic find tons of defense like resistance wise it's a good option can't get that try to make yourself a crafter you're gonna need a high eye level amulet now, that's not the required level. It's eye level. You can't see it when you're playing on Battle.net, but it's there. If you gamble, it uses your character's level, and then it does plus or minus. I think it's, what, minus 
five plus four. If you look up gambling for Diablo, it'll tell you a ton of information about it. Try to make yourself a crafter. So you need the high eye level amulet. You need a jewel. It can be rare. It can be rainbow. It doesn't matter. You need a Ral rune and a perfect amethyst. You throw those in the cube. You make yourself a crafter and you hope you get a good two to skills 10% or heck, even a two to skills 20% faster cast rate. And your Sork's going to be popping off. Now, when you're walking around, always pick up rare amulets. Because you could find a good 1 to skills, 2 to skills with some FCR, some res, some magic find. Who knows? Always be looking out for amulets. Because you never know. You might get a rare one that's actually better than Amara's. Just keep an eye out. And then again, we're going all the way back to level 10s or so. Check out those magic amulets on the ground. You could get a a nice all res with FCR on it and that'll take you pretty far because like I said FCR and res the two most important things about a Sork if you uh, if you keep dying as a sorceress you can't magic find so what's the point all right so now we'll move on to the helmets here obviously Shaco well, two to skills damage reduction magic find life mana literally everything that your Sork needs in one item that's best in slot you can't find this it's kind of tough go to the tier two maybe you can find a peasant's crown gives you one to skills it's not bad maybe a, a towels mask now the reason i say towels mask here is again if you don't have that three piece towel set maybe you're missing out on the amulet you still can't find it towels helm towels chest towels belt three piece towels it's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. You can go with the lore. It also gives you plus one to skills. It's a decent option. But more often than not, you're just going to find a random gray helmet, a crown with three open sockets or something. You put three perfect topaz in there, you get what, 75, 74 or so magic find? And it's a done deal. You're going to start finding stuff with that extra boost. Now, you're going to lose out on a ton of stats by doing this. You're not going to have resistance. You're not going to have skills. But you're going to have a ton of magic find. I know some people like to keep the uh, helmet in their inventory here. They use something rare or magic on their head. They get the boss down weak. They throw the helmet on. If you want to do that, go ahead. Buffing your magic find when you're killing a boss to a certain extent is a great idea. So, do it. Okay, now we're moving on to the weapon. Obviously, Hodo. Some people, like me, prefer the Oculus. The Oculus is, is great. Unfortunately, it has this nasty ability to teleport you, so most people are going to try to take the Hodo over that. I mean, it's got res, it's got skills, it's got FCR. It's obvious. But yeah, second best weapon is probably the Oculus. If you don't like the teleporting, I mean, what can you do? You get used to it after a while, though. Next up, Wizard Spike. Takes a little bit of dexterity, so you're going to have to put a few points into that in, in order to be able to equip it. Tal's Belt helps with that. Tal's Helm as well. But, you know, if you really need the FCR or you need that res from the Wizard Spike, great item great item now spirit it's not just a sword or a shield it's also a weapon you can put a spirit over here it's gonna have the same stats two to skills fcr up to 35 ranges from 25 to 35 so if you find a broadsword or a crystal sword with four open sockets early on and you throw a spirit into it maybe you get lucky and get 35 right away it's a good option it's a great option other than that spectral shard Spectral Shard's a good one. Gives you some FCR, gives you some res. It's not great, but starting out, you could really use it. Um, now, when you're when you're magic finding, like I said earlier, with the Rhyme Shield, what about weapons? Well, for your swap, you can do an Alibaba with a Rhyme Shield. It's got two open sockets in it, so you can put Ists in it if you'd like. But the Alibaba has scaling uh, magic find, just like this item here, Skull Desire. 
better chance of getting a magic item based on character level. So the higher level you are, the more magic fun you get from the Alibaba. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. So it's Alibaba Rhyme, maybe a Gull Dagger and a Rhyme. If you can't make a Rhyme for some reason, because the two open socket shields are eluding you, maybe. Millibragg's shield has 20% magic find on it. So that's always another option for your shield. If you get really lucky, you can get that two-handed staff, the Rune Collector. It's got magic find on it. You know, it's RNG. You never know what you're going to find. So that is my basic guide of how to get from having nothing to having this. Okay. If you follow along my build and you follow along with my magic find the areas where to farm, I talked about the ancient tunnels, pendle skins, Mephisto, all those sorts of things. You talk about all that, it's going to be pretty easy to get gear, at least some gear. It might not be best in slot right away, but if you can get, you know, a spirit sword and a spirit shield quickly, that's going to get you pretty far right there. Um, Viper Magi in the chest piece. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Always, always pick up coronets, circlets, tiaras, diadems. They can roll two to skills, 20% FCR, a bunch of other things. All good stuff. Light radius, not great, but don't worry about that. So you always want to be looking for it. Because sometimes rare items, like this here, these gloves, rare items can be better than unique items in a lot of different ways. So definitely recommend picking them up. Now I'm probably going to have people commenting saying, hold on a second. What about an SOJ? The Stone of Jordan for a ring. It's got skills, it's got mana, like why wouldn't you use it? Couple reasons. One, pretty hard to find. Something like this, FCR Strength with tri -res, that's tough to find too. But like, any ring with res is going to be good here. Also, for my build here, in order to get max res in hell, I kind of need these gloves. And if I take off a ring, I'm going to have to take off these gloves. So I lose a ton of resistance right there. Okay, so it's kind of important for me to uh, have these gloves in order to have that max res. I think it's really important to have max res. Now granted, your torch is going to give you some resistance and some attributes. If you are lucky enough to get an Annihilus, you're going to have some there. Your charms, you can have all res charms, you can have damage charms like I have here. You can have, you know, obviously your Geeds is going to be right there. And your small charms, res, magic, fine, whatever you need. This is where you really flush out your gear, your kit, your build. But, I mean, if you don't have the base up top, you can't do everything with charms. Like you need damage, you get some skillers. You need res, you get some some small charms. You know, that sort of thing. But if you don't have the FCR that you require in order to be able to get that 105 breakpoint, it's going to be rough. 63 is doable. Don't get me wrong. If you have 63 faster cast rate or, you know... Heck, even 80, doesn't matter. You're going to drop down to that 63 breakpoint. If you have that, you can do hell. It's going to be a little bit scary because if something's extra fast, it has might aura, that's going to hurt. With 105, you can usually teleport straight through that without getting hit. You go through and then they notice you, sort of thing. Okay, so that's why I say 105 FCR, very important. 63 is not bad. If you don't have 63 FCR breakpoint and you're trying to go into hell, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to have a rough time. Go back to Nightmare where it's safer. 
Go farm chaos and bail. Get your Duriel shell. Get your towels mask. Get your, you know, whatever you can, basically. Your Trang gloves, your mage fists, whatever. Your frost burns, even. Get yourself some gear from there and then move on to hell. Because I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. You can't magic find when you're dead. You might as well go back and do something that's easier and then scale up and do something that's a little tougher. Once you're able to, Ancient Tunnels, Mephisto, you're set. All right. So hopefully that is a good enough guide for you guys to kind of stepping stone your way through the different items in the game and get yourself to this point right here where, you know, you're doing pretty good damage. You got your Merc. He's doing pretty good damage. Okay, you can farm any area in the game on players one. It's not too tough. Highly recommend it. You got any questions, feel free to post a comment down below. Join my Twitch when I'm streaming. Stream six days a week. Ask me there. Still now, go to Discord. Okay, I'm going to throw the links in the description. They're on my main page. Ask me any questions you got. I love talking about the Blizzork. She's my favorite character to play. Ladder reset on the 15th here. You know I'm going to be playing Blizzork hard. And I'm going to do exactly this here. I'm going to be using that 3P Topaz helmet. My stealth. I'm going to be rocking a wall of the eyeless. I'm going to be trying to find my base item for obedience. You're going to see me go through every single step that I've laid out in front of you. Depending on how nice RNG is, maybe I get this stuff early. Maybe it takes me three weeks to find a Shaco. And I'm going to be rocking that Topaz helmet for a while. You know? That's why you love this game. The RNG, you never know what's going to happen. You can find everything or you can find nothing. Anyways, guys. Okay, one quick thing I wanted to point out. That is my actual build, okay? This is 30 FCR. This is 40 FCR. Now, typically, I'm lazy. I just leave the FCR rings on, whatever. I switch these around. I just keep the build the same. But, technically, if you're not using Oculus, if you're using the Hodo, you can get rid of one of your rings because this right here is 105 FCR. This is actually 10 more than you need. Okay, I wanted to clarify because, yeah, I made a mistake. My math not so good. This is 105. This is 115. My bad. Hopefully this is informative. Hopefully it gives you enough information. Got questions? Be sure to ask. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody. to cut this out because I've already done this.